Pyrrhus is the god of destruction of universe 7 and throughout his reign as one he has left behind nothing but a trail of victims victims who either no longer exist entirely or have been so mentally scarred that the mere mention of Pyrrhus's name haunts their nightmares so in this video let's take a look at all of Pyrrhus's victims that we know of starting off with the oldest one we have Elder Kai 75 million years ago Supreme Kai and Pyrrhus had a meeting one which they usually hold once every 1000 years so that they can discuss how to increase the success rate of their universe but on that day Elder Kai did something which was never specified to us but that thing seriously annoyed Beerus and because he couldn't kill him due to the life link they shared he opted to seal him within the Z sword a seal which would only be broken by Goku and Gohan in the Buu saga 75 million years later simply because they were the only people in that many years to have enough power to wield the blade and Elder Kai is not the only god to become a victim to Beerus's actions that's because during the Zen exhibition in the manga the Grand Priest instructed all the gods of destruction to fight each other with everything that got as opposed to the anime where universe 7 fought against the universe 9 fighters to demonstrate to Zeno how the tournament will look like. The last time Zeno called them all they were all asked to play hide and seek. Beerus hid himself and ended up falling asleep for 50 years which means they failed to find him for that long resulting in the game being cancelled. Zeno became furious because he enjoyed the game and according to Whis all the other 11 gods from the other universes had to do extremely intensive efforts to calm down the Omni King so that is the reason why they all hate Beerus. This in my eyes adds all the gods of destruction to Beerus's list of victims because although they were not victims in the physical sense they were still victims of Beerus's behavior. When we move on to episode 5 of the Dragon Ball Super anime we see that time has not dulled Beerus's savage nature. We learn that King Vegeta was tasked by Beerus to retrieve the most comfortable pillow in the entire universe from a certain unnamed planet a task which the king managed to complete with ease but instead of handing it over to Beerus like he should have King Vegeta opted to keep it for himself and tried to trick Beerus by giving him the second most comfortable pillow in the universe but the god of destruction easily caught on to this thus prompting him to humiliate the king of the saints right in front of his son Vegeta punishing him for his insolence the next person to be put in their place by Beerus is Freezer, who tried to push his luck with a deity and got taught a lesson. In the guidebook for the Resurrection F movie named Dragon Ball Vol. F, we get a Toriyama interview discussing the relationship between Freezer and Beerus, and it reads as follows. Even Freezer is no match for the God of Destruction Beerus, no matter what he does. Since they both destroy stuff, they got along reasonably well, but one time, Freezer had his clock cleaned when he got carried away and made Beerus angry. This clearly shows you why Freezer always gets extremely frightened in Beerus's presence and doesn't dare to oppose him in any way otherwise he might just get his clock clean yet again or even worse be raised next time. Despite Beerus not seeing eye to eye with Frieza that one time it never prevented him from giving the tyrant instructions like the important order he gave Frieza before going to sleep which was an order to destroy planet Vegeta because the Saiyans annoyed him and due to King Vegeta's stinginess as demonstrated by the pillow incident. Although Frieza ultimately did it because of his own fear of the Super Saiyan legend coming true still played a role in the eventual demise of the Saiyans thus causing them to become one amongst many of his victims. In episode 1 of Dragon Ball Super Beerus has finally awoken from his 39 years of slumber and along with Whis they visit a planet inhabited by pig like humanoids. Beerus investigates most of the food they present to him by touching and sniffing it. He didn't seem to have a problem with the food until they presented him with dessert. It was tasty according to Beerus but he complained about it having too much grease. So after deciding Beerus destroys half of the planet with a mere tap of his finger on the table. However, the manga chose to present a different outcome for this similar occurrence. In the manga, Beerus also visits a planet inhabited by caterpillar looking humanoids who offer him the best foods in their world. In this case, Beerus actually finds their food very tasty. However, because they tried to poison him through the food they served him, he told them he had decided to destroy the planet. They all pulled out their weapons and tried to retaliate, but they immediately got annihilated as Beerus nukes the planet. Soon after that, Beerus discovers that a Saiyan named Goku is on King Kai's world and his search for the Super Saiyan God sends him there. This is where we learn in episode 5 of the anime that Beerus once visited King Kai's world long ago and King Kai failed to give him good tasting food. As a a result Beerus decided to reduce the size of his planet as punishment which explains the tiny size of his planet that we know of today this means King Kai just like others on this list is a victim of Lord Beerus the destroyer which is a similar situation as Saiyan named Goku found himself in within a few minutes of Beerus's arrival Goku challenges the destroyer and cycles through all his transformations in battle slowly leading up to his maximum power which was Super Saiyan 3 at that time not only did Goku never land a, a clean attack on Beerus at his full power he got defeated by a single flick on the forehead and a simple 
chop on his shoulder. Determining that his latest victim, Goku, was not the Super Saiyan God, he sets his sight on Earth, hoping to find a worthy opponent. However, earlier on in the anime and the manga, we learn that Beerus is no stranger to Earth, because it reveals that the last time he went there, he encountered dinosaurs which were rude to him, which caused him to destroy them. But this means that some of them survived that incident, because they still roam the Earth to this day. Carrying on where we left off, when Beerus lands on Earth, he first encounters Vegeta, who becomes his victim from the moment he arrives until he leaves Earth. First of all, Vegeta fell before Beerus because of his PTSD as he had a flashback of what the destroyer did to his dad back when he was a child. And things only get worse from there on for the prince because Beerus gets invited into his wife's party by Boma himself. This results in many nerve-wracking moments for Vegeta such as when Yamcha smacked Beerus on the head or when Trunks sprayed him with a water gun, angering the god. But luckily in that moment, Vegeta was able to jump into the ocean, grab an octopus, throw it into the air and blast it right there to create a fireworks show for Beerus that managed to calm down the god. However, all his efforts proved to be in vain when Beerus asked Boo to share his pudding with him but he refuses which then prompted Beerus to attack Boo who stood absolutely no chance and got absolutely destroyed. After this happened all the other Z fighters alongside Vegeta jump in to help but the gap in strength between a god and mere mortals was too wide to breach and they stood no chance. This caused them to all get bodied adding themselves to the list of victims of Beerus. Just before Beerus completely ends Vegeta's life Bulma comes in to slap Beerus which was a big mistake on her part because at that point he was not Bulma's friend at all so he slapped her back causing Vegeta to go into a fit of rage allowing him to momentarily dominate Beerus because of his sudden surge in power. However, after all this, Beerus one taps Vegeta out of his form, displaying absolute dominance once again. But this was not the last time Vegeta was victimized by Beerus. The second time was in the manga, before the tournament of power, but right after the Goku Black Saga, wherein Vegeta unlocked a new level of power known as Mastered Super Saiyan Blue. After gauging Vegeta's power in his training with Whis, Beerus tells the Oracle Fish that his prophecy of Goku and Vegeta becoming his greatest rivals was exaggerated after all. But the Oracle Fish reassures him that it will come true one day. This causes Beerus to want to test Vegeta's power and progress, a proposal that Vegeta agrees to. When the match began, Vegeta immediately goes to Super Saiyan Blue and attacks Beerus. For a while, Vegeta could not even land a hit on the god. Beerus blocked and dodged all his attacks and retaliated with a blow that sent Vegeta flying. That was the point where things started to change and Vegeta transformed into Mastered Super Saiyan Blue, a form which allowed him to block all of Beerus' attacks, equally clash with the god and even land one attack as well. This pissed off Beerus, so he proceeded to use more of his power to one shot Vegeta and tell him that it will take a million years for Vegeta to reach his level at the rate he is going at. The last time Vegeta got violated by Beerus in is in the Granola Saga where Beerus curb stomps him yet again. The reason behind their fight this time was that Beerus revealed to Vegeta that he is the one who ordered Frieza to destroy planet Vegeta. The prince tries to attack him angrily but fails entirely due to the massive gap in power that exists between the god and himself. Moving back to the Goku Black Saga, we get Beerus' biggest victim and that is Zamasu. In the most badass Beerus scene to date, we have Zamasu being exposed by Whis as a traitor who is out for Goas' blood with the intent to take his earrings to crown himself as the new Supreme Kai and have control over the Time Rings. When Zamasu was confronted with the truth and asked to answer for himself, he proves Beerus right by attempting to attack Goku only for his hand to be grabbed by the God of Destruction Beerus and twisted aside. Beerus then follows by uttering the word Hakai, erasing the evil Supreme Kai apprentice out of existence forever.